Get out of here, chicken. What are you doing in here? You shouldn't be in here. Ah, uh, where's Gunner? He needs to take care of his darn chickens. Hey, Jojo. What's going on? Gunner, I'll tell you what's going on. You noisy chickens are over here noisying it up and bothering my sheep. They aren't noisy. Yes, they are. You need to take them somewhere else. You should keep them on the other side of the hill, or I can't hear them. Maybe you should move your sheep to the other side of the pond. There's plenty of room over there. No, I was here first. You move your chickens. But it makes more sense for you to move. Sheep are easier to move. It doesn't make more sense. Sheep are three times the size as a chicken. Let's take a vote. All in favor of sheep moving, say aye. Aye. Hmm. Well, all in favor of chickens moving, say aye. Aye. Looks like you have to move. This isn't going to work. It'll work just fine when you move your chickens. Well, maybe we should see what other people think. Like a vote? Sure. We get in the vote for which one of us has the better idea. Oh, it's kind of like an election. Well, if we're going to have an election, we might as well look at the rules. Don't you have a rule book somewhere around here? Okay, the first step is to campaign. Hey, let me see. Okay, I know what that means. That means that we need to get people to vote for us. The second let me see. step is to be nominated by your party. And the third step is to get more votes than the other party. Gunner, calm down. I want to look at the book. Well, that sounds easy enough. Let's get to it. I think we might have a lot of work to do, Gunner. I don't even know where to start. I know. I'll start with the villagers. See you later. I hope this doesn't get out of control. And if you vote for me, I'll make sure that your village gets plenty of wool. Here, would you like some? Take it. You too? This would make a lovely cloak. And you? You can have some too. Just remember, vote Jojo. Um, look guys. Uh, yeah. If you vote for me, there'll be a lot of cake. Are you saying you don't like cake? Or are you saying you won't vote for me? I'm confused. What are you saying no to? You're saying you won't vote for Jojo. No? You're saying you don't want cake. No, so you do want cake. So you won't vote for me? So that means you will vote for me. Thanks for joining the blue party, everyone. Remember, Jojo for president. If I get elected, everyone will have lots of wool. Enough wool for everyone. Remember, Jojo for president of the Red House. Jojo, I heard you talking about the blue party. What's the blue party mean? A party in election is a group of people who all see things a similar way. Like all of my supporters would like more wool than eggs. Well... If you're starting a party, then I'll start a party. I'm starting the Orange Party. It's the party of Gunner, and freedom, and cake, and fun. And with all of your support, even you zombies, the Orange Party is gonna win the day! Yeah, this guy's got the idea. He's so excited. Look at him go! Jojo, you've run an impressive campaign so far. What do you think of the new challenger in your party? Oh, thank you. It's been a lot of fun, and a great learning experience. What, 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 what new challenger? I haven't heard of this guy. He's over there. Where? He's up there on those blocks of gold that he brought in. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. I'm the only person self-funding. She can't help you with China. She can't help you with these people. I'm putting up my own money. I'm self-funding, which is very nice. I can say this, I will win. So you're saying you think you're gonna beat Jojo? No, I think that I have a good chance. I mean, look, I'm leading in all the polls. Well, that was a confusing interview with a strange, short-fingered man. Gunner, did you hear? I'm challenged to lead my own party. What's the matter with that Trump guy? I would never vote for somebody like that. He's just mean. He couldn't even think up his own name. He just uses the blue party. He doesn't care about sheep. All he cares about is those diamonds he's throwing around. And what's up with that guy's hair? I don't know what's up with his hair. I don't think it's real. And now I have to run against him before I can run against you. It's silly. Hmm. Well, it says here in Elections for Dummies, some place have a cactus, and some people have a primary. A cactus? You mean a caucus? No, no, a cactus. It's where everyone gets together and people try to convince each other to support their favorite person. Yeah, Gunnar, that's called a caucus. This is a cactus. See? Green, with spikes. Okay, Smarty. Then what's a primary? Well, a primary is similar, but instead of being all loud and convincing like a party, you vote in secret, and then they count them all up, just like the main election. Great. I'll hold a carcass, you hold a primary. Gunner, this is a carcass. See? See I'm holding a carcass? You'll hold a caucus, and I'll have a primary. Jojo wins. Film at 11.
It seems the members of the Overworld were not fooled by empty promises and bluster. <laughs> Looks like Trump was defeated. Trumped. Trump was Trumpity Trumped. Woohoo! <laughs> Looks like we get to run against each other in the primaries. Ha! That Mr. Trump didn't stand a chance. Him with his diamonds and hair. Let's ride the roller coaster one more time before the big day. Remember, tomorrow is when everyone in the area goes to cast a ballot for one of us. And whoever gets the most votes becomes president. What's a ballot? Oh, it's a thing you vote on. You mark which person you think should win. If I was to fill one out, I would mark the little circle next to Jojo because I think I should win. And then all the ballots are counted up and the person with the most support wins. And on the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November, eligible voters from across the land go to their nearest polling station to vote for the candidate of their choice. In the United States, voters must be 18 years old or older and have registered to vote. But here in Minecraft, anyone who lives in the overworld can vote. People can vote by mail or in person. Each person gets one vote. When the election is over, the results are counted. I'm sorry, Mr. Zombie Pigman, but you're a resident of the Nether, so you can't vote in this election. Do we really think it's a good idea for creepers to be voting? I mean, they have a tendency to try to get close to you and blow up. Ah! Gunner! Do something! Don't just stand there! No! I'm so excited, I can't believe that I get to be president. Gunner, you did a good job. It was fun racing against you. Actually, Jojo, winning this vote doesn't mean that you really won. You see, in the United States, the Electoral College is the institution that elects the president or vice president of the United States every four years. Citizens of the United States do not directly elect the president or vice president. The candidate who receives an absolute majority of electoral votes Currently, 270 for the office of president or a vice president is elected to that office. Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all.